Greetings folks, I'm your host Nomo and I'm here today to give you a few tips about your guitar amps. I mean, these will be quick tips, no technicalities, nothing but something which has been tried and tested. Tip number one, even before turning on your amplifier, make sure that the head is connected to the cabinet with a speaker cable. Instrument cables and patch cables are not speaker cables, remember that. This step is really, really crucial because um, the head or the power section needs a load and without a load that is the speaker cabinet um, things can get nasty really fast and uh, there's a high probability that you might damage the amplifier sometimes permanently tip number two keep a flashlight handy why on earth do i need a flashlight in the studio you say well first of all if you're an indian and if you live in india like me you'll face a lot of power cuts so yeah and the second reason being <clears throat> that you can't really look at the speaker cone right now, can you? Because there's a grill cloth over there and you don't want to tear the grill cloth. So what you do is turn on the flashlight and stick it up against the grill cloth like this. And now you can see the dust cap and the entire speaker. So now we can see the entire speaker cone and the dust cap in the center. Which brings me to my third tip, mic placement. Well, as a general rule of thumb, the more you go towards the center that's on point with the dust cap, the more trebly you get. And most of the times that's not really desirable as it can get really harsh in the higher frequencies. And the more um, away from the center you go, the more darker or the lesser treble you get. And um, too much away is also not good. Well, again, tone is subjective. But uh, my sweet spot is somewhere a little bit away from the center, just crossing the dust cap. Yeah, somewhere around there. Because, um, yeah, then it's a well balance of the highs and the lows. It's not too dark, not too bright, and it takes EQ well. Tip number four, keep duct tape handy. Why? Suppose this is the mic placement you're going for, and you'd like to um, save this position. Unfortunately, unlike a DAW or an amp sim, you can't really save a preset. So um, yeah, this is the old school way, but um, I guarantee you results with this. Get some tape. Okay, I'm out of tape. So yeah, folks, that's a small triangle I made with some tape. I was supposed to make a square, but um, I ran out of tape, unfortunately, and um, yeah. That's where the mic is supposed to be placed. The fifth and the final tip will be to take care of your amplifier and your gear in general and maintain it well. I mean, don't place it in situations um, or places where it's very dusty, too cold or too hot or too humid. And um, yeah, keep your eyes out for replacing the tubes because uh, if you're using your amplifiers regularly, yeah, they run out quite fast, especially the power tubes. Just make sure they're in top-notch shape so that you can sound the best. Make sure the pots are not scratchy, the inputs are fine, all the switches are working and the internal electronics are working fine. I mean, take care of your amp and uh, yeah, it'll give you good tone for a long, long, long time. So folks, these were the five tips I needed to share with you about guitar amplifiers in the studio. And um, yeah, you might have known all of them or you might not have known any of them or some of them, but I hope this video helped. Leave a like if you liked it, a dislike if you disliked it, and do comment in the videos about what you wanna see next or anything I missed out. And yeah, do share this video and subscribe to my channel, okay? Oh, look, a triangle, Illuminati confirmed. Oh, oh my God, it's guys, don't man. Cheers.